Hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dynamic plot titles. Titles that change with certain variables that you're graphing. In this case, I'm doing some basic thresholding. Here we set the threshold to a value, and then I'm binarizing the image off that threshold. Would be nice is when I create a figure, I can have a title that shows this threshold value. And then if I were to change this value to 0 0.8 or something like that, the title would automatically change. I'm trying to reduce my workload. Yes, I could just add this title every time and manually type the value that I'm using for this, but that's not good when you have a lot of different values in a big script, you wanna automate things. What I've done here is in this dynamic title section, I'm going to use the function stringcat, which concatenates two strings. What do I mean by that? If I said hello and world, pass those as two arguments to stringcat, it just pushes them right together as hello world. If I provide a space in here, then I get a space as well. Here what I'm doing is my first string is threshold set two, and then I'm looking to bring in this threshold value. However, this threshold value is of a different data type. Threshold will be set to a double, likely, which is a number, and you can't just combine numbers and strings, same way you can't add a string to a number, right? What we need to do is convert the data type from a number to a string using the num to string function. We do num to string on this threshold value, it becomes a string, and then we're concatenating two strings side by side like we did right here. After that, we're simply passing this variable title string that we created to the title command. When we run this, we now see on the second figure our title threshold set to 0.8. I can change this to 0.5 and then the plot automatically updates that value. I'm going to show you how to do this in a for loop so if you loop over a bunch of different threshold values, you'll automatically end up with different plots with the appropriate names on them. Here you can see I've updated the script slightly. A main difference is that now threshold is not just one single scalar value, but it's an array. It starts at 0.3, jumps by 0.1, until it gets to 0.8. This is a range of values that we're going to test over the thresholds here. We're gonna do a for loop over the length of these thresholds, so we'll do the number of loops for every single one of these values that we're checking the threshold on, creating a copy of the raw image, binarizing that image based on the threshold, and we have to call threshold i to index between these threshold values. Then we're going to create a title string using that string cat function when we do the num to string, we have to do threshold of i to pull out the specific value we're using for the loop. And then we just go ahead and then do the typical plotting features and add the title. If we run this, we're going to get a bunch of figures out. But if you look now, the titles have all changed and we can tell looking at a given image what the threshold was that was used to create that image. That's all for this video on dynamic titles in MATLAB.